trends should pay attention because AI does and has been for some time solving problems that matter, right? Mm -hmm. And I think particularly, again, leaving generative aside, we'll see where those go. Um, we'll see where that goes, and, and it will be helpful in, in creative, uh, the creative side of commerce. But the fun, if you go back to good old fashioned AI, uh, which I'm talking about AI from like August, um, that is really about uh, making sense of the massive quantities of data that companies produce, right? Mm. Including uh, e-commerce companies. And I think the reason um, brands should pay attention is that like, the competitive war between brands is being fought using data, and there is a war about data happening, right? Between Apple and Facebook yeah. and Google. And this war is happening not for privacy, not because Apple loves you so much <laughs> or because Facebook cares about you. It's literally a battle over who owns identity. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so brands are becoming the victims of that battle happening. But you need to care, I think, ultimately for brands it means, for commerce companies it means, you need to get your data house in order. You need to use all of the first party data that you have and own, whether you've used it in the past, whether you think uh, you can use it, um, and in many cases, it feels like there's too much of this data. It's unharnessable. AI uh, is built to do that. And um, so I guess the message really is you should care because it knocks down the most important, you know, billion dollar migraine problems in the industry from yep. customer acquisition to retention to sales optimization, yep. supply chain and logistics. All of these things are solvable by getting your data house in order with ML. Yep.